And so ends a week full of turmoil. You can say that again. Only the angels had lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Sorry, Frank, but I really don't care about sports or gambling. <laughs> Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about it. Or I'll try at least. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. Don't take this personally, but I'm glad it's almost over. <laughs> no apologies necessary, Meredith. I'm glad you gave it a try. Yep, and at least now I can finally put faces to your mailman war stories. <laughs> I was hoping I could listen to one of those for once. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. <sighs> Sorry to butt in, but I was wondering. almost impossible to refuse. Partner in the company. Wow, that's great. Although I'm a little worried getting my good work first and everything else second. But you like this don't Don't worry about it, Mom. I'll be all right. Opportunities like these don't come around often. How would that work? So interesting, but I'm not sure it will turn into something serious. Oh, that's a pity. But I guess that would have been pretty complicated anyway. When you're back to your busy life. Yes, that 
would be too complicated. Maybe I'm being too rational about it. I don't want to sound cheesy, but it's true what they say. Love conquers all. Yep, hold on. Is this the part where Dad takes over? Hey, Em. I just wanted to say, don't get on the plane right away when they announce that board has started. I mean, why hurry to get in that cramped airplane seat? Thanks, Dad. I'll uh, keep that in mind. It's just something that popped in my mind. Uh, have a good flight, Em. Let us know when you landed. Oh, we're running out of coins again. Gotta go. Take care, Em. Okay. Bye. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Mo's. Don't worry about Robert. I'll be here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... Oh, gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. You're about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard Jack's gonna do the thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. You're right, and you're his stage manager. <laughs> no, he's into comedy. What a love to have him. Oh, well, this is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer. As a certain kitchen helper, Thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Oh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be it, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. I have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can get quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, Bob? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? Not really. I'm looking forward to going back to the big city. Oh, the big city. That's not for me. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything, everyone reminded me. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Maybe not. I mean, if you don't want to. Robert and Meredith, 
sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Marie. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can lead you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Marie? Anything for you, darling? Do you mind if I pay? For at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, by mine. Now let's get going before Marie gets her broom out. <laughs> Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail over your vacation. Why are they standing in the rain? Never predicted delivery meal to be like this. I met so many new people, some of them are really nice, some of them a little less so, but all of them are just going in their own way. My delivery meal job officially ends tomorrow. The bars of actual experience, which means I've seen it all. Probably also holds true to looking like Rose Steiner. <laughs> anyway, I, I love, love this town. town. You, you know, know I do. So, so I'm dedicating my last joke to specific people here tonight. tonight. The first the one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the seat. So he has a bargain. What's, What's up with the hanging meat, meat up there, there man? man? So the bartender says, Ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway. But all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? Huh? What if there's dozens? Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack here. It's an open mic after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity is quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend.
than the final boss, the afterlife. But then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair. Now I'm here looking like a loser. So I can't even use my computer right now. Guess who? Basil from Baker Street. Aw, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better. Though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Red Jack just did some comedy and that communication is not going to mention great so far. Yeah, not much. Jack just did some comedy, but the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well, then I guess I arrived just in time. So, how do you Busy packing, I guess. Super busy. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have more time to... Hey, Meredith! Hey, Angie! Sorry to pop in my house, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed, the Hermit Shell is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks! I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later! An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I am the proud owner of the Hermit Shell. Wow, good for you. I love a free RV. Since she was a little girl, and I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance 
of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone.
the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to it. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next. But I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. You don't often hear the other guys. I mean, Dash. I sure, I sure do, do hope they're keeping, keeping things proper in there while I'm taking, taking a breather. So, you have fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I get my big toe to be able to do what she does behind the keyboard. Oh, I was still thinking about your news about handing over the diner at Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! Huh? You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now. Help out. I mean, maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods. Rest them out. Never too old to find something new to do. That sounds like a great idea, doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You can tell me to mind my own, of course. I said, but that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected, and I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen. You're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back. Honestly, no, no clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. I guess I am. You know what I found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like life's a game you can win or lose. Pretend you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that out for the rest of your life? I don't want to say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. It's uncharacteristically deep. Sue me. Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after. And whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy. And there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? Thanks. 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 Thanks.
Sky Story. That makes sense. You'll be all right, huh? You just keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Three. <coughs> Let's get, get back, back inside. inside. You, you take, take care, care now, Meredith Wax. Take care, Marie. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight. No, I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. And betting against the pattern pays off. White Sox. Okay, Meredith, thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job, and that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. No, I'm taking the job. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. Can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. Oh, we were going to talk about something else. I'd love to take one last look over the lake. I'd love to take one last look over the lake. All right, go grab your stuff. Let's go. So, here we are again, heading the other way. Are we going to miss it here? Probably. It feels odd to be leaving again. I wouldn't want to leave this place, not for a million bucks. Well, wait, no, two million bucks should be enough. Do you believe money can buy happiness? That's a good question. Give me a big pile of cash right now, and I'll feel real happy. And I'm sure it'll last a couple of days, but then it'll probably start to wear off. And I'll be back to complaining about the weather before you know it. But it's probably nicer to complain about the weather when you're living in a big old mansion. Hey, what's this honking clown up to? Move out of the way, you lunatic! Wait a minute. That's Robert Harris. Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling over. Sorry about that, Frank. Hope it didn't scare you. That's okay, Robert. I'm a road rage veteran, but, uh... What's all this about? It's not about, about you, Frank. I need to talk to Meredith. Oh, okay. I'll go have a smoke. Hey, Meredith. This, this is going to sound super awkward and hopeless and desperate and probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Stuff like this? Yeah, you know, I'm a man, you're a woman, I like you. A lot. I didn't want to get into it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. What the hell was that? I could just give up my career for a drinking lumberjack, so you propose that I just get in your car. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Uh, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that.
can't do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, okay Mary Lou. Take, Take care. care. Call me. Have, Have a safe trip. Thanks, Robert. Okay, Meredith, let's get you to the airport. I've got a double shift today, and the mail doesn't deliver itself. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from my very own KF. That's right. Thank you. 